Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Planet Base. Since you last joined me. Uh, well, frame rates are getting a little lower because my base is growing. 72 robots now inhabit the base. I have let things tick along for a little while so that we could uh, see things develop. And uh, what have I done? I have built a lot of solar panels. Look at them all. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Tiny Pirate, you've gone completely and utterly mental. It's time for you to go back to that special place you come from. Climb back into your hobbit hole down in New Zealand and take a little nap. But no, this is not crazy. Wow, that laser shot through a hill. Awesome. Nice work, laser. The reason this is not crazy is has been pointed out to me by Michael King in the comments. And he had some really interesting observations about power generation on this planet. So I'll go over them for your erudition. The first point is that day length is not any different on this planet than it is on the desert planet. In fact, you get quite a lot of hours of actual time generated because they still these still generate power about an hour after sundown. Yes, Michael is one of those special people who has a, a place in my heart for his care and attention to details. He has studied this game. He has studied the rate at which the pads regenerate, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, he informed me that, of course, the uh, solar panels are actually active for quite a long time. What they do do is generate half as much power on this planet than they do on the Juno world. So in this case, they produce, uh, say a large one here, produces 40. And just to remind you, because I know you're all efficiency nuts like I am, a uh, medium, a large seven, so four, a uh, large wind is four. Let me just have a quick look at the solar. A large solar is about seven, I think. Yeah, seven. So three difference in metal to start with. But the, uh, see this, this wind here is a large one. It's currently producing 13 out of a max of 50. So here's the dilemma. The solar panel produces, this large one here, produces 40 every single day, wind or shine or well, wind or not wind. This large wind turbine only produces power when it's windy. And in this case, look, can't even get close to its maximum. And of course, when there's no wind, it produces no power at all. But wait, it gets visitors. Visitors with a number. Visitors without a number. I can't remember who commented on that. Visitors without a number on the ship. They're invaders. Visitors with numbers, not invaders. So where was I? Yes. One of the other really fascinating things he pointed out was that even in the, the smallest of winds, the, uh, the quality, the condition of the wind turbine starts to go down. And so here, can't really see it because it's so tiny, but it is slowly ticking down. Even though it's producing only two power. So you need to produce, when you're using wind turbines, you need to put up a lot of them. And at the merest tickle of a breeze, they start breaking. Compare that to these large solar panels. They they break only when it's sunny, uh, and when it's sunny, they produce 40 power. So it actually ends up more efficient to throw up solar panels on this planet, because um, yeah, because the the solar solar collectors need uh, less repairs. As long as you've got enough power collectors to store all your power, and as you can see, I've moved a whole bunch of them out here. As long as you've got enough solar collectors to collect all your power. Well, you're going to be just fine, essentially. That's the message. And I thought that was a really fascinating and, and wonderful observation by Michael. And so I have gone through and I have cleaned out. See this one? See that? Excellent. It's gone down. It's not generating as much power as this, this large solar here. Ah, anyway. That's a great observation by Michael. So I've gone through, cleaned out the base a bit, moved things. Um, so that we could put the, the collectors further away and the solar panels which require repairs close to the entrances uh, so that our people can get to them. And I've done a few other bits and bobs as well. And the first thing I should also mention is that Arc Entertainment's commented that you can use a mine to bridge between two locations. So there is actually a connection between these two. It goes under the ground. And likewise over here. If you want to get across a valley, use a mine. I've turned them off so that they... Uh, poor workers don't have to trudge halfway across the map. But it means now that you see all this stuff over here is not uh, singularly connected to the grid. In fact, it's connected three ways back to the grid. Um, the far distant resource valley is still only singularly connected. 
but we're just going to have to live with that, I'm afraid. Uh, in other news, I have bought a uh, farm dome uh, while everyone was away. Couldn't resist playing, and I thought there was a lot of just grind watching me wait for resources, build this solar panels, stare at them, tidy things up, test connection. So I just did it anyway while you guys were away. Um, I also had an interesting conversation uh, in the comments with um, the Hulk, who pointed out that cabins, as, as lovely as they are for our people to have individual beds, don't actually help your efficiency really at all, because people will trudge halfway across the map to sleep in them. And that marginal kind of happiness boost can also just be offset by putting down some more um, sort of, uh, what are these, rec rooms and bars and stuff like that, having good quality meals. So really, you might as well just go for the dorms, uh, stops your people spending half their lives trudging back and forth from their bedrooms. Um, I'm not so fussed about that. I, I like efficiency, but I also like prettiness. So yeah, prettiness sometimes wins out. Um, got the uh, constructor robot blueprint as well. And as you can see, we're churning out a lot of robots. And one of the things I thought is that really we, well, we, we probably need a, um, near each of the exits actually, I would have thought, we probably need a dome dedicated to just fixing robots uh, and I might I'm wondering if I can put a big one in I might chuck a big one there just so I can throw together a big spot for repairing can't fit one over here I put in another processor plant here just because we had such a backlog of minerals I just thought and starch I just thought hey, I'll chuck in another processor thing um, that does result in inventory issues which I will discuss but by and large, seems to have helped clear up my massive backlog. So I'm going to chuck in a room dedicated to the repair of robots. Because I'm generous like that. I'm a generous robot master. What can I say? And then I'll move um, these builders. I'll just take the repairs out and put them all in here. Put, build, put more builders in there. Because that's close to a massive stack of resources there. Um, what else has been going on? Yes, I wanted to talk a little bit about a really interesting comment from uh, Paul O'Brien, who got me thinking about just-in-time inventory management. If you've ever been fascinated by Japanese management philosophy, as I know you have, because if you like builder games, you really should be. I mean, it's bread and butter, wouldn't you say? Anyway, I was reflecting on the weekend with a, with a YouTuber or two that I know that there's a... I'm going to put another fix-it spot over here that, well, they had a lot of commenters giving them lots of bad advice on planet base. Things like, just leave it on Red Alert all the time, or, well, I don't know, all kinds of things. Silly things, anyway. And I was really pleased to see that I had some really interesting and educational comments from all of you on the weekend, which just goes to show that, that you lot are a far better community than the average YouTuber. So Michael King pointed out that when you have, I'm looking at processor facility as an example. Where are they? Here's one. When you have these processor facilities filled with ore not doing anything or filled with um, starch not doing anything, you essentially are kind of wasting resources because everything gets backed up, nothing will get made and your workers spend a lot of time filling those machines and they don't spend as much time working on them. And this actually reminded me of the just-in-time inventory philosophy pioneered by Toyota and Japan of reducing waste and inefficiency by only bringing resources in uh, to a system, to a manufacturing system when you needed them. And there's some interesting article on Wikipedia about this. And when I read it, I immediately started thinking about all the base builders and uh, tycoon games ever because they all seem to essentially reflect elements of this as you might expect from builder manufacturing type environments. So anyway, um, I did I did think that he had a really good point. When you have all of these sort of facilities, like try and zoom into one, when you have all these facilities like our manufacturers here just sitting around idle, those are resources that can't be used elsewhere in the system. And that creates a kind of a, a bottleneck, a lag, until there are resources to catch up um, with what is stored, we don't have any resources for doing things like building. And that's especially true early on in the game. Not so much now that I'm sort of running surpluses everywhere. But the point is that if you want to be more efficient, perhaps only place down 
manufacturers that you know are going to always have. You look like you're bad. Oh, you're baddies. Here we go. I only put down manufacturers when you have... I know you're baddies. What happens if I just... No, I'm going to turn off the airlocks. Maybe I'll just turn off this one and this one and this one. Ha! Huh, what are you going to do now, baddies? Hey? Where are you going? You going the long way around? Come on. No. Notice them. Shoot them. Ah. You're walking all the way around, aren't you? Yeah. Intruder has been detected. Gun him down. Oh yeah, look at all my minions. Yeah, and another one. Down. And there should be one more. Walking their way around. Come on, you little sneaky intruders. People, there's one right here. Not really a visitor. A baddie. Come on, get in and die. Yeah. Detected. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You're going home in a in a bag. I don't even think we're going to send you home. We'll just chuck you out of the airlock as a warning. Put you on spikes out the front or something. Any more? Nope. Trader. Good. Uh, I don't really need robots. I want all the blueprints. So yeah, when you're early on in the game, if you leave your manufactories, or you build so many of them that your people can't kind of finish the job, they should always be a worker standing next to them. Then you waste time and shipping and movement and stuff like that. So anyway, I thought that was just a really interesting observation and pretty neat comment. And uh, just made me think of how excellent the people are who comment. Clearly a better breed on this channel's comment forum thing than perhaps on other channels. Here we go, repair pad. Can't no, fit another one in? I can't, can I? It's just... Maybe we'll just do it like that. That's fine. Yeah, so good on you all. Good to have you, good to have you here. So I'll just show you power. Look at that storage. And even though we are, um, what is it, consuming 60 whatever? Must be just morning. Yeah, so look at that power storage overnight. I haven't even got to sort of halfway. And you wait, when the power comes on, you'll see how much we put out. Oh, I really should turn on. Well, okay, we'll just... 447? 490? 530? Yeah, with a slight breeze, 580. Pretty damn impressive. Uh, I think so anyway. So, landing permissions, it's time. Let's reset that back to... I want more guards. I don't think we need... No, that's probably okay. That's probably just fine. We've got so many uh, worker bots now that, that really I think the workers could probably all just go take a holiday. Have a nap or something. So what do we need to build now? I think the milestone achievement thingamy bobby would be good. Where should we put it? Where can we even fit the, the damn thing? Um, should we just stick it in Resource Valley and be done with it? Oh, it, it feels proper to put it somewhere where we can see it. it. Should have a small footprint. I mean, I know it's a massive monolith, but what what's it doing really? Not much. Well, it's not even. Ah. Come on, no chance. Down here, maybe? Nope. Nope. All right, well, we'll just stick it over around the corner there. What ifs? It's a nice monolith. We can always stick in a small sign. Welcome. No? No one wants a small sign? No? No? Small signs? <sighs> Under the woods? Under the ice here? No. No, never mind. Stuff the sign. It's probably a good time to really pull in the colonists. Can't seem to attract that many yet. I'm not sure if there's a daily limit or a pad limit. And, oh, here we go. Bot auto repair. I might just go all auto repair. I mean, we're churning out a lot of robots. And that way, all of them can be repaired super quick. And we can put up this little binded, bonded, bind, 
tunnel thing here and get that working. So over here, there's a bar, rec room, canteen, and a cabin. Oh, sorry, mid bay. I tore down the mid bay that was over in this vicinity in favor of this processing room. Probably could do with another mid bay, but ah, it's fine. No disasters ever befall us here. Cool, colonists, nice to see. Three of them. Red one, is that a guard, maybe? Medic. Well, fair enough. It'll balance out nicely, I think, in the end. And by the looks of it, we have vast quantities of food and spares, you'll notice. So that was one of the other interesting things when I switched all these over for... And I built a very large wind turbine here because I bought the Blimmin Patent, so I thought I should. But look, it's only just in high winds clearing the basic amount of power that I would wish for. Yeah, that's quite, quite a ridiculous investment compared to the large solar panel. So, um, yeah, when I started using these large solars, tearing down all the windmills, what do you know? The number of spares I used went down, and suddenly, surplus of spares all the time. Very handy. Uh, so I think what would be good is a large storage type thing here, followed by a large... Come on. Oh, give me the two-way. I accept nothing less than two connections on this base. Thank you very much. And then we shall put in a large... Put on a large one of, one of these, a massive farm dome. So we have the massive farm dome. We just need to put something in here to bridge it. Um, what would be helpful at this juncture is possibly a I'm thinking O2 just because we're going to get awfully close down here to the yeah we're going to get awfully close to uh, oxygen consuming bits and bobs and cabins in due course and now a large farm dome so that will keep them quite busy look at that i love the large farm dome it's just just beautiful so you lot get on with that it would seem that an airlock over here is a good idea can i squeeze one in nope oh, yeah well maybe i'll just wait for you to get this up look you need all these repairs and you don't do much for me but at least the monolith grows Mon I'm at the edge of the map, the monolith. Can't, can't see it. Come here. Come here, monolith. Good. Beautiful. How many colonists are we on now? 94. Look at it. Come on. Hurry up. Oh, I can speed time up. Can't die. Good idea. Megalomania achieved. Monolith built. Beautiful. What have we got over here? Oh, traders by the looks. Ooh. Robots. Don't care. No, I just really don't need that. I want the I want the patents. And as you see overnight, we start the night with usually mass, masses of power. Just don't think we're going to have any shot of ever uh, draining that down. Okay, these are going up. Which means I can just about finish off these connections. And I know I need another airlock, but I want to try and fit the most dense connection set in first. Yep, I know. What are you? Visitor? Good visitor or bad visitor? Good visitors. Good. Happy visitors, my favorite kind. I did move a telescope control panel over here because I put a weapon store there. But I also put one all the way over... Uh, where are you? Here? I was... I'm kind of hoping... And I couldn't fit another telescope control in there, over there. I was kind of hoping that maybe Citizens Armed would come rushing down here, pick up the, well, pick up the weapons over there and then run down rather than running down here to fist punch the visitors to death, the invaders to death, but yeah, my, my colonists seem a little, a little dim. Uh, processing plant, I'm just going to leave that empty until I get to the dome. What? Oh, you... <sighs> hmm, what an egg. I want that to be a storage, don't I? And I've put a processor in, so just... I'll delete that in a second. It's alright, we'll fix it up. Don't worry about it. Colonists, good. Trading ship. Now, now I don't want any of you 
Nope. Goodbye. I'm waiting for my patents. Because really at this point, how many drones are we on? 76. Yeah, we got hundreds. And it looks like those drone pads are needed. I mean, yeah. Yeah, look, they're queued up pretty much. You need food. What is going on? I think it might be time for another machine in here. And some tables. Um, can we fit? Well, that seems silly. I can fit more in there than I can. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, Robo Colony and High Spirits. I don't know what the different... Never mind. Uh, visitors and visitors and visitors. Okay, that's fine. Sentry achieved. Frozen base unlocked. Nice. Okay, let's tear that down. Goodbye. I... Ah. Uh, I suppose I could leave that there. What's the harm? What's the harm? And don't you all comment about efficiency. Sometimes you just do things because they feel good. Right. Uh, did I get the right one this time? Yes, I did. Um, oh, it did fit, did fit in. I saw it. Hey, come here. Is it going to let me? I see those sorts of connections. And I'm not convinced. Oh, it did. Lovely. So, let us try for, I think a tree. A tree's always nice. And let me just slow things down. I don't want everything to go bananas. I'm going to put in a bunch of medical pads here as well. Since we seem so fine on food anyway. Yep. And uh, GM tomatoes. Um, onions. What was it? Wheat, wasn't it, for pasta? Wheat, wheat. And I think another onion. And we'll just leave that at that for now. Okay, what were you? Oh, trader. Ah, GM onions just in time. And we can pay for you straight out with cash. And now we wait. Waity, waity, waity. Here it comes. I can feel it. You could go a bit faster, game. Come on. Yep. Oh, God. I don't even care. Tip. Take it. Okay. Now I can turn off. Now, where are you, onions? Delete you. And put in GM onions. Why not? At some point, I'll probably go through and fix all the onions in the thing. But, I mean, really, we got so much food. Doesn't really matter at this point, does it? Now. How are we looking? Whoa, big colonist ship. And we have 104 colonists. Good. It's going to be time definitely to put down some more dorms. How many colonists are you going to spit out? One. Just three? What are you? Medic, a guard. Oh, guard's nice. Uh, can't click any worker. That's fine. And these pads are going up. It's probably, I reckon, just just here. Can I fit you in? No, you don't want to play, do you? What about an airlock? Surely. No? Nothing? I'm sort of hitting the end of the map, so I don't mind kind of just calling it quits over here, maybe. With the closest... Airlock, I can squeeze. And then just down here. Oh, no, not those. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, just down here. Here we go, here we go. Dorms. Um, got a processor there. Food storage. Manufacturing up there. Could I maybe fit in one factory here? Oh, look at that. That's, that's good. That'll do. I'm happy with that. Could be placed next to the. Well, could I put it there? I'm just gonna test. Bet you I can't. That's the wrong one, I know, but it's the same size. Nope. All right, that's fine. Let's throw the dorms up. And we can pretty much forget about this end of the base. Now you, as far away, so that you're just a single connection is required there. And think another dorm. 
What am I doing? It needs to be a larger one, you egg. Hey. Can't get good help these days. No, just just one is fine. And another one. Good. And we just need that air to flow. Come on, people. And, 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 and. Where are we? One more for good measure. Look at that. Good bedroom community over here. Armed intruder. Oh, die. Get him. Get him. It's always a him. Take them on. Oh, we lost someone. You will be avenged, Zad. What kind of name is Zad? I'm not sure we need to avenge someone called Zad. I mean, I just feel bad for them. Okay. Ugh, all dead. All dead. One colonist down. That's fine. Acceptable losses. And all of that is going beautifully. Might just put in a bioplastics thingy, Bobby. Because that's what we're going to be making next door. And see how things look now. That's looking pretty great to me. It's going to take them a little bit to get those those bits and bobs up. But other than that, it's looking pretty excellent. Hopefully people don't traipse halfway across the map to stock this storage facility. But hey, if they do, it's good exercise for them. Anyway, it's probably about enough video now for the day. So it's time for me to call it quits. I've got a question for you all, however. Would you like me to... Uh, do perhaps more incre more incremental updates when I hit more major milestones all the way to 300 so that we can get on to the ice planet? Or would you prefer uh, maybe just go straight to the ice planet? I mean, I expect things to be pretty stable from now on. I don't expect there to be any major problems. I might, might throw up one of the calamity devices, the radio antenna. That's probably a good idea. Put up a couple of radio antennas. If I put up a couple of radio antennas, that could make for an interesting episode while we grow towards 300. But um, I'd be interested in your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Until then, it's about time I ask people to subscribe, if you haven't already, to uh, like, tell your friends, invite your mother to come and watch, do all of those things. And I will catch you in the next episode. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Good night.